bottom up squat is a squat holding a kettlebell with the bottom up. So grab a kettlebell, hold it tight, I have a tight grip because you're going to have um, the weight, the, ke the, the weighted part of the kettlebell is facing up. Now this is going to be challenging so you want to have a tight grip, you want to make sure you, you avoid having that kettlebell wobbling back and forth because that could damage your wrist if you have weak wrists. However, if you have weak wrists, this is a great way to strengthen them. So make sure you pick an appropriate weight that's right for you and your, your fitness level now, and then you can move up from there. Anyway, we're going to do a single arm hold. So you just hold this kettlebell right here at your shoulder level. Make sure, and again, make sure there's no wobbliness, and you're just going to squat and come back up. And having the kettlebell in one hand challenges your core a little. Even though your both feet are on the mat, you're not doing a single leg squat. You're still having to maintain control in your core to not shift around, you know, like that. Okay? You can always add a press at the top of the squat. As long as you control that kettlebell, bring it down. So squat, come up, press and lower. Just make sure you've got full control of that kettlebell and it's not wobbling around. If you're going to do this single arm, always make sure you do the same amount of reps on the other side. If you choose to challenge yourself a little bit more, do a double kettlebell, double, double bottoms up, and a squat. And again, make sure you've got control, a tight grip on the handles, and control over each kettlebell and just get onto your squat and come back up squat and come back up and as with the single arm you can go into a double arm press just monitor your form this is probably something you want to do in front of a mirror There you go, so those are your options for bottoms up. Actually, let me throw in a modification. Sorry, if that is difficult for you, but you want to challenge it, you can always hold the kettlebell by the bottom, which is called a, um, I think it's called a waiter's grip. So if this is challenging and it's gonna wobble, then just turn it upside down, but don't hold it by the handle, hold it by the bail. Yes, I'm southern, so I just said bail, like a southern bail. And you can hold it the same way. So it's still going to be a little challenging because you're not holding a dumbbell um, or a medicine ball. The weight is still unevenly distributed. just gives you a little bit more better grasp, and you can go from there. So this would be your waiter grip. So this is your modification squat with a waiter, waiter grip uh, on the kettlebell. And again, you can do a press. And you can do single arm, or you can do double arm. So there's your modification. If you need to start with the waiter grip, start there. And then once you're comfortable with that, you either increase your weight or turn that baby upside down and go for that press. You'll really feel it in your shoulders, and you'll feel awesome afterwards.